the technology and AI is kind of like a double-edged sword. There's a lot of potential that you can achieve. So the literature has shown that there's a lot of um, differences that you can pick up if you stratify by sex and gender. Um, and so one of the big promises, I think, of looking at things like artificial intelligence is the is the capability of potentially circumventing these biases through AI because it's not prone to this human error bias that we tend to carry ourselves. So it holds that promise, but at the same time, if you don't train the algorithm well, it could inherit the biases and actually amplify them. So I think this is one very big topic and why a part of the Women's Brain Project is also very much invested into it. And because there's also, you know, several different collaborations going on, some of them with Altoida, for example, where they've published a paper together and actually found kind of a digital phenotype that seemed to be more um, identifying females versus males. These are kinds of indications in research that show that there could be a bias that artificial intelligence could detect. 